The Skakoan species was introduced into Star Wars by Watt Tambor in Attack of the Clones. Very little is known about them in canon, but today I'm going to do my best to cover their biology, society, and history. I'll have to use almost exclusively legend sources, but I'll try to keep it to things I think are still true today. Skakoans were an amphibious people native to the planet Skako Minor. Located in the Core Worlds, it was known to have a very unique atmospheric pressure. Skakoans were required to wear pressure suits to simulate that atmosphere when they left their homeworld, and outsiders had to wear helmets when they came to visit. The suits worn by Skakoans also fed them a steady supply of methane, which they needed to breathe. They had greenish skin with no hair, thin slits for noses, lipless mouths, and very few or often no teeth at all since they did not ingest solid food. Their average lifespan was 90 to 110 years old. The masks that hid their faces from the galaxy gave the impression that they were emotionless and machine-like, but Skakoans were actually very emotional and they held extreme xenophobia for all other species. The harsh conditions of their planet may have led their society to become very self-centered and concerned with self-preservation above all else. They were highly logical and many Skakoans held professions in mathematics, science, and technology. They were also deeply spiritual, following a religion based on the mysterious Book of Bulmide. That belief system was led by elders of the Power Mounds and was centered around an omniscient mythical beast known as the Albino Cyclops. As part of the Core World, Skako Minor was discovered by the larger galaxy before the formation of the Old Republic. Over time, they became represented in the Galactic Senate and came to lead the Techno Union by the time of the Clone Wars. Wat Tambor led his people in joining the Confederacy of Independent Systems until he was killed by Darth Vader right as the conflict came to an end. So far, there has been no record of Force sensitivity within the Skakoan people. Unfortunately, everything else we know about them is very specific to their Legends history, so that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this throwback to the super short Star Wars Minute Days. If there are any other species you'd like to see me cover like this, leave them in the comments, and check out this playlist to see what species I've already done. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.